So you're thinking about making a move into Marietta, Georgia here, just north of Atlanta. This is the video for you. Everything you need to know about Marietta, Georgia, and we're gonna get into it right now. In this video, we are going to cover everything you need to know before making a move to uh, Marietta, Georgia here. So if this is your first time on the channel, welcome, first and foremost. But secondly, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and tap on the bell for the notifications so that you don't miss a single video about everything that Marietta has to offer, but also everything in North Atlanta. So whether you're considering uh, Marietta or Sandy Springs or Dunwoody or Brookhaven or... <laughs> Buckhead, we can literally help you anywhere all around Metro North Atlanta here. Uh, we do get calls and texts and emails and carrier pigeons even from people all over the United States that are making a move here from Dallas and Austin and all over California, Seattle, Portland, uh, Chicago, New York, New Jersey. So anywhere you are and anywhere you want to be here in Atlanta, we can definitely help you with that. Um, we absolutely love getting these phone calls and text messages and Zoom meetings set up. Uh, so if there's ever anything that we can do for you, please don't ever hes hesitate to leave a comment down below or uh, up in the channel art. You can always schedule a Zoom with us. That's the easiest way for us to get on the same page, if you will, more or less, uh, on how we can make this as smooth and easy for you as possible. So uh, thanks so much for being here again, and uh, let's get right into the video. Another thing to note here as far as Cobb County goes, or, or even Marietta, is that uh, the taxes are significantly lower here than, say, Fulton County or even DeKalb County. So if you're looking at North Atlanta, um, the, just strictly from a tax standpoint, that's why Marietta and Cobb County has really attracted a ton of new folks. Uh, that are relocating here from literally all over. Great schools, low taxes make it a really, really appealing place to be. And then of course the location on top of that. I know we always talk about location in real estate, but, um, and you're gonna hear me mention it a lot more in this video, but it's one of the most valuable things I think about Marietta and Cobb County as a whole. All right, so today we're gonna show you literally all over Marietta. It's a huge geographic area, kind of Northwest of Metro Atlanta here, uh, or downtown Atlanta. So if you continue out of uh, Atlanta and go northwest up on 75, you'll run right through the middle of um, Marietta, Georgia. And so Marietta is kind of split into two sides, if you will, West Cobb and East Cobb. We're going to show you both today. We're really going to dive deep into everything Marietta, Georgia today. So uh, let's get right into it now. All right. So we just crossed over from Sandy Springs and Fulton County into Cobb County and the Marietta area. So this is actually East Cobb. So as you can see here on the map, um, you know, East Cobb, obviously the east, uh, you know, side of Cobb County and Marietta. So as soon as you cross over the Chattahoochee River, which is just right there, you can't really see it through the trees here, but you'll see it in just a moment here. Um, you, you cross over into uh, East Cobb here or Cobb County. And so Marietta for in its entirety is encapsulated in Cobb County. Um, and so a couple different school systems, Marietta City Schools, as well as Cobb County Schools. And, uh, and so we are going to show you some real estate today, but really I just wanted to give everyone kind of the lay of the land, geographically speaking, as I said, a, a large area here to cover in one single video. So, uh, make sure you're subscribed, number one, but number two, uh, we've got a full playlist of videos dedicated strictly to, uh, Marietta, Sandy Springs, Dunwoody, all the different cities around North Atlanta. So if you're thinking about Marietta specifically, you'll definitely want to see that, that entire playlist. But also if you're considering other areas and maybe want to kind of compare and contrast Marietta to Dunwoody or Sandy Springs or whatever, I think that'll really give you a much better, uh, much more holistic view, that's for sure. So anyway, uh, we're now into the neighborhood right here off of Chattahoochee. Um, this is really close to the Atlanta Country Club. Um, and so this will really give you kind of like the upper end, if you will, of luxury in Marietta homes priced in Marietta anywhere from four hundred thousand, four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, really becoming like the new normal as it relates to real estate values. Certainly, in the last two years, that number has increased quite dramatically, um, and so it is becoming more and more of a challenge to get into to Cobb County for under four hundred thousand dollars. Every once in a while, it can be done, but it is becoming significantly more difficult. 
Um, and of course you can get well into the two and three, four million dollar range for, you know, some larger estate type properties where you might have two or three or four acres or you're in a country club like the Atlanta Country Club that we're in here now um, that have, you know, amenities and private memberships and so on and so forth. But I just want to give you a full range of uh, real estate values here today. So again, four or $500,000 kind of be your entry, you know, point for a three bed, two bath, single family home, or even town home. Um, there has been some new construction development in this area as well that I'll show you as well. But uh, for now, as long as we're here, we might as well show you the kind of luxury side of Cobb County and, and Marietta here in East Cobb. So as I said, we're here in the Atlanta Country Club. So you're gonna see a lot of homes here that were built, uh, you know, 80s, 90s, I think even maybe far as back as the 70s. And then you're gonna see some new construction in here as well. And properties in here normally are going north of a million dollars. Uh, I believe I've seen a couple in here over the last uh, year or two go just under a million, but I mean, you're getting a lot more new construction. Obviously the price and the location here very very desirable you're still i don't know 10 minutes from 400 and 285 with you know very little traffic look at this house though holy moly got a lot of materials going on there uh i love the drive through though uh and then of course you've got the golf course the country club side of things here as well not a gated community so it is open you know through for pass through here if you will um but uh, just a really nice neighborhood. And, and again, this is kind of your upper end. Um, certainly you can get into the two and $3 million range in here for some, you know, really, really well done, uh, either modern construction or even heavily renovated, uh, you know, original properties. Um, but a really nice little mix. You've got like some mid-century modern in here, a little bit of like Mediterranean style going on, a little more of your like modern farmhouse vibe over here. But uh, yeah, just a nice mix in here. So again, this is, you know, kind of the upper end, if you will. Um, and again, a lot of it because of the location, but also because of the amenity of having a golf course here. It's a, it's a big deal. Um, but not every home in here is, is huge. Um, and so, you know, for me, I, I love this location more than anything. Um, again, right on the edge of, of the Sandy Springs, Fulton County, Cobb County, you know, Marietta uh, border here. Um, so it's a great location. Um, and, and that really is what I think draws a lot of people over here. In addition, there's not a whole lot of country club, you know, um, uh, just country club golf clubs in general in this area. So, you know, when you're the only one around this area, um, you know, it's it's gonna be pretty easy for you to draw up some, some real values. Um, so if you're into golf, especially, this is definitely one of the neighborhoods you might want to consider. Um, the other neighborhood that we covered, that's a golf community up in Alpharetta. Um, you know, again, about 20, 25 minutes away from here. Um, and then of course you have St. Ives, Country Club in the South, you know, a little further to the east. But um, then you've got some houses like this that are very unique. Um, and the gate and the fence and everything so anyway but this is kind of your luxury uh segment here for east cobb or the marietta area so um this kind of gives you the top range and then over here off paper mill um you know you'll see some homes that again more estate you know you can kind of see this one tucked back in there you know on two three four acres that are gated have the full fence all the way around a lot of these have been renovated but even more of them now have been actually torn down and uh, are now being you know completely redone um and so i really just want to show you this one up here real quick so check this out i mean i know it's not everyone's style but talk about a grand entryway there right so as we make our way from east cobb to kind of central cobb and then eventually over to west cobb um you know you'll see a little bit of a transition again you know this area being a little bit closer to the downtown atlanta area was obviously developed significantly, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, whereas West Cobb, um, you know, is still kind of being developed. There's a lot more land available out there um, and you see a lot more new construction. So a lot of that was developed in like the 90s, 2000s, even in the, in the you know, early 2000s, 2010, uh, through the last 10 years, and a, and a lot of that being done really in the last 20 years. So. 
anyway, this is Paper Mill though, the road that we're on where that beautiful last home was. I know it's not everyone's style, but again, um, Paper Mill and then Johnson's Ferry again, Johnson's Ferry is the, ro the road that runs you from Fulton County and Sandy Springs over into Cobb County and Marietta and, um, and, and then runs completely basically west and then eventually north because it, it kind of heads up towards the Kennesaw area as well. But, um, this, this road is one of the main roads for, you know, four lane intersect, four lane highways. There we go. Uh, in and out, um, just like the 120 loop, which again, if you're looking at a map kind of runs east to west from East Cobb over to West Cobb. And, um, is really one of the, like the main thoroughfares or, or, or routes through, uh, Cobb County and, and specifically through uh, Marietta here. So, uh, anyway, but that's kind of the East Cobb area and I'll show you some of the landmarks and stuff as well around here. There's some great parks. There's some new senior living in this area as well. Um, for, you know, assisted living, memory care, all types of stuff that, you know, I think is, is really serving a, a underserved demographic here in Atlanta. There are a ton of baby boomers that are retiring and, and, uh, we have been for a little while here in Atlanta, severely underserved in that area and so a lot more of that type of development has also come along but um, every demographic here is is really well served now so as we uh, come off of paper mill here we're taking a left on to johnson's ferry and again we're kind of heading you know more or less in the northwest ish <laughs> uh you know uh, direction if you will um, and so again, this is one major thoroughfare. So you actually see here, it's six lanes, three on either side, but you've got a ton of shopping in here, a ton of restaurants. Um, you've got some great, you know, private and public schools here in this area. Um, very, very rare to see again, a lot of new construction it certainly does happen. Um, but for the bulk of it in the last five years, Everything beyond that was really built earlier than 2000. So a lot of 80s, a lot of 90s uh, homes in this area and, uh, and and even older than that. But your normal 3-2, like we said, you know, especially in East Cobb, this area, uh, a normal three bedroom, two and a half bath or two bath house in this area is probably going to be closer to like the five to 600 range. Um, once you get over to East Cobb, you know, that's where, or excuse me, over to West Cobb, that's where you can really find those three twos that are, you know, just under half a million, again, 400 to, to half a million, somewhere in there. But, um, you know, great access here. So you see, we're only, you know, a minute from paper, paper mill here. Um, so you've got, you know, a grocery store in here, tons of great restaurants, a little Cold Stone uh, Creamery in there. Um, you've got a tire shop, you've got a CVS, you've got everything you need literally within, you know, a 60 second drive, which I absolutely love because the convenience of being in Marietta is really why people move to Marietta, that and the schools. The school system is really, really good in Cobb County, uh, specifically in this area. And, you know, when you go to look at school ratings and stuff, you know, there's a lot of subjectivity <laughs> to all of this, but um, the location really makes it really, really valuable for a lot of people. And especially now working from home, a lot more people considering uh, living in Marietta. You don't have to have immediate access to say, you know, 75, 85, 400, stuff like that. So just a little bit further down Johnson's Ferry here, uh, another senior center that we just passed. You've got your shopping center here on the right with a Publix, you know, grocery store in it. You've got banks, you've got a tire repair shop. You've got pediatrics over here to the left. You've got a Starbucks just here to the left as well as a Chick-fil-A because you can't be in Atlanta without going a mile and not hitting a Chick-fil-A. Um, but anyway, so again, as you see, tons of commercial area here. Um, and what's really great about this area too, so you, you do have like Mount Bethel uh, Elementary School here as well. Um, uh, the private school up here just to the right. But, you know, even in this commercial area, there are some outcroppings of little neighborhoods, little, um, you know, residential spots, if you will, um, that are super, I mean, you could actually walk, um, or, or super accessible, I should say in this area in general. And so I think that's another thing that really draws a lot of people to the Marietta area in general. Um, not just here, but certainly over near the Marietta square, which we'll see here in just a little while, 
um, you know, really, really nice area. Again, some of the properties over there, 700-ish starting, some townhomes and stuff in the sixes, but more often than not, 700, 800, 900,000 dollars. And then single family over there as well, over a million dollars, really, really close to the Marietta Square, walkable, accessible to, um, you know, the, the Marietta Square there. But like I said, you've got a couple little neighborhoods here um, that are super close. And uh, this is actually the area in which I grew up. So I, I know a ton about this area. So if you guys ever have any questions, just leave a comment down below, or you can always, again, shoot us a call, text, email, or schedule a Zoom call. Absolutely love this area. Even though we don't live here anymore, um, it's very, very easy to see why people want to be here. Um, again, tons of great shopping, restaurants. I mean, you've really got everything right here at your fingertips. Okay, so as you can see, we are headed north here. <laughs> so as you head north on Johnson's Ferry, again, you're gonna head up towards like the Woodstock to your north, Kennesaw kind of to your northwest. Uh, again, Cobb County extends quite a bit further north here, but we're actually gonna take a left onto Roswell Road, which if you've been following the videos along here for a little while, this Roswell Road is different than the Sandy Springs Roswell Road. It's kind of like Peachtree Street or honestly Peachtree anything. I think there's 72 roads here in Atlanta called Peachtree something. Uh, but anyway, Roswell Road, also known as Highway 120 or the 120 Loop, eventually kind of like over to the west side of 75 there. If you hear someone say the 120 Loop, that's what they're talking about. Uh, there's a big loop that kind of connects the north side and the south side of the 120 Loop. And then this is 120 Roswell Road here that runs Again, all the way over from Roswell, uh, just a little north of Sandy Springs, all the way over to like West Cobb, um, through the Marietta Square and, and kind of out towards, um, um, you know, the west, the west area of West Cobb at least. So now we're headed west on the 120, uh, Highway 120 running through here uh, over to the West Cobb area. We're gonna go right through the heart of downtown Marietta. Um, super cool little old style uh, central, you know, city center, if you will. Um, but yet we're still in Marietta here. And so about another, I don't know, 10 miles or so down the road here, we'll go into the downtown area of Marietta. A lot of people will ask about traffic in this area and uh, just generally about, you know, the amount of people in this area. So certainly because of its low taxes, because of the great school systems, um, you know, we do see a ton more people moving to this area. Um, and obviously with with people comes traffic and so you know with only basically 75 running north to south right through the heart of marietta um you know you have a couple streets that run east to west highway 20 here or 120 that we're on um that eventually connects back to 75 um, and runs perpendicular um, is just a four lane highway in most places every once in a while it gets into three lanes each way but there are a ton of people in this area. And so traffic, especially during the peak hours of say 7 to 10 a.m. and 4 to 6, even sometimes 7 p.m. can be an absolute nightmare. And that to me is really the only con of living in this area, you know, especially when you're in deep in the heart of say East Cobb, you're 15 to 20 minutes from every major interstate, no matter which way you go. So you're easily 15, 20 minutes from I-75 from where we currently are here. Um, and then from here back over to say Georgia 400 that runs directly through the middle of the city through like Buckhead and Brookhaven and Sandy Springs. Um, you're, you're 15, 20 minutes from that, from where we currently are. So even over on the very far east side of Cobb County of, of East Cobb in that part of Marietta, uh, you're still 10 minutes from there. So if you're over here, you know, in the middle of uh, say East Cobb or, or downtown Marietta even is, is a significantly better location. Uh, but there are so many people that live here that I think traffic is really the only downside of living in Marietta or living in this area in general. Um, again, it just depends on what you're looking for. Even out in West Cobb, um, it can take you 15, 20 minutes to get back to 75. Um, or even remotely close to I-20, uh, which runs east to west right through the heart of downtown Atlanta. So anyway, that's my only downside, honestly, on it. Um, you know, again, one man's opinion, so take it for what it's worth. But as it relates to convenience to the rest of the city, you can be downtown in pretty much 30 to 35, maybe as much as 40 minutes. 
Obviously, again, with peak traffic hours, you're probably gonna be closer to 45 minutes, if not an hour. Um, they have, at least here on 75 now, the express lanes that are basically like a toll lane where you can purchase a little barcode attached to your car. I think it's $25. Um, and, you know, the rates vary with peak traffic times. You know, normally no traffic, you'll pay like a dollar, dollar twenty-five maybe to get from uh, the perimeter at 285, which you guys have heard me talk about several times, um, all the way up to like, you know, where downtown Marietta basically is. So a dollar, dollar fifty at the most, if traffic's really low. If it's super high, it could be as much as three or four dollars um, to hop on the express lanes, but it's all automated. You have an online account. It's actually super convenient, um, especially if you end up commuting. Now, if you're working from home, this is a non-issue, a non-starter, so to speak, uh, because you don't really have to worry about traffic until you go out. Um, but just be cautioned that when you do go out, even, even now in a pandemic still, uh, you know, there are a ton of people that live in this area. So, you know, geographically a large area, but when you have a considerable amount of people that live here and in this area, traffic can be quite a bear. So um, anyway, but as far as uh, to like the airport, 45 minutes, again, with a little bit of traffic, it could be more than an hour. Um, there's two ways to go. Obviously, you could go straight through downtown uh, through the 85-75 connector, or you could go around 285 down to Camp Creek Parkway. Uh, but either way, it's going to easily be 45 minutes here. If you're a little for, uh, further north in like Northeast Cobb, easily an hour, if not an hour and 15 minutes with some traffic. So, you know, it, again, I think the biggest problem is traffic, but the location, especially if you don't travel or even if you just travel a couple times a year, it's really not that bad. And of course, Hartsfield uh, International Airport being the largest airport in the world has attracted a ton of people here as well. Um, and, and, and it's nice to only be an hour. I mean, I know a lot of people that are two and three hours from you know, a major regional, much less an international airport. So we do still have that going for us here in the Metro Atlanta area. Here's where you'll see 75 north and south, as well as 20, excuse me, 120. So if you go uh, 120 here, if you take a right, you'll actually end up heading west. But then if you go up a little bit further, the way that we're going here, you'll also go west. So it's a little bit confusing. Uh, but this is the 120 loop. So there's two different exits uh, that the, uh, that I, 120, excuse me, I-20 and 120 are way too close. <laughs> The 120 loop kind of loops around back to 75, creating two different exits, the north loop and the south loop. The south loop closer to like Delk Road and Southern Poly um, University, which is now part of the Kennesaw State University. And then on the north side near Whitewater, uh, the Big Chicken, all that type of stuff is in there as well. So just as we had a little further west here on 120, I got it right that time. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see we'll come up on 75 here. So there is an entrance and an exit to the express lanes here that you'll see in just a moment. But you can see the major interstate here uh, just ahead of us, 75 that runs north and south, again, right through the middle of Marietta. And so um, you can actually see over here, we'll get a close up on the express lanes over here for you. Um, okay, so currently, and again, this is at uh, what, like 1.30 on a Tuesday. So let's see if we can get you some prices in there. So 60 cents to go north uh, up to Big Shanty, and then you got 95 cents, and then a dollar 40 all the way up Sixes Road, which is up 575. So again, not too terribly bad. And again, middle of the day, give or take. <laughs> so traffic's still kind of lighter than it normally would be, at least at this time. But once that four o'clock, five o'clock hour hits, those rates go up. And so this is where you'll see the entrance ramp. So you see currently heading north in the afternoon, obviously in the morning heading south down into the city, but you've got a little entryway there to get right into the express lane and head further north. So uh, again, if you're living here to get south, it's super easy, um, especially in the mornings, you just hop right on there. Otherwise you're taking that south loop or north loop, depending on which way you're headed. Um, you know, in or away from the city, but we got to show you the big chicken here. So if you hear people talk about the big chicken, this is what they're talking about. <laughs> you can see this from the interstate actually. So it's about three stories high. It is actually working uh, a couple years ago. It wasn't working. Uh, KFC obviously bought it back and got it working and functional again. 
the beak does open and close and then of course the eye moves so anyway obviously what better way to uh to market chicken than to have a giant chicken <laughs> that stands about three stories tall this is actually an operating kfc now as well so anyway if you hear someone say north of the big chicken they're talking up 41 here uh, so you can see highway 41 four lane highway either way going north there going south back this way but uh, if they see south of the big chicken, you're headed back down that way. So, and east, of course, where we just came from, and then west of the big chicken down here towards um, uh, downtown Marietta. So, anyway, I didn't realize this was as big a deal for the internet as it was, but this is the big chicken, everybody. <laughs> All right, so as we make our way here into downtown Marietta, obviously a ton of historical value down here. Um, not to mention you've got a huge um, cemetery uh, just for all of the fallen soldiers here that we just passed on the right. But obviously a ton of go government buildings down here. You've got the Superior Court, the Magistrate Court here for Cobb County located right here on the square. But we're just going to do a quick little drive around here. You've got, again, a lot of the older, more historic buildings in here. Uh, a lot of little restaurants and shops and stuff. This little area though, especially on the weekends, is just absolutely jam-packed with uh, people and, and you know farmers markets and fairs and all sorts of stuff going on here. So parking all the way around the, the square. Uh, again, great restaurants, shopping. You've even got the Strand Theater over there uh, where they do uh, you know local musicals, high school musicals, stuff like that, um, as well as you know business events and all sorts of stuff. But um, they also do some live music out here as well. Um, again, making this a really popular destination for families, obviously. Um, and anyone that enjoys music and, and just socializing with, uh, with their neighbors, so to speak. So anyway, you'll get a, just a quick little idea here. Of course, all the government buildings here to the right. Um, but uh, just a really cute little part of town here. And again, all downtown Marietta. So um, you can even see this, one of the churches actually goes into the uh, into the train theater as well. They've got a piano bar in there, a cocktail lar uh, lounge. One of my absolute favorite restaurants over there, though, in that building is called uh, Max, a little steakhouse, great little uh, lunch spot, or you know, fancy dinner spot if you want, depending on your on your mood. Um, but uh, one of my absolute favorite restaurants. Anytime I'm over in this area, I try to make it a point to to go in there. Really, really good steaks in there. All right, so as we make our way out of the square here, so this is actually the north loop. So again, if you remember, it kind of loops back around under 75, around 75, and then back under it uh, to the north and the south. There's probably like a mile difference or so uh, from the north loop to the south loop, um, North Marietta Parkway here. Um, but again, you've got 75, and then to the west, you've got 41. So you've got a couple different options over here. Accessibility on this side of Marietta is significantly better. So if we're kind of calling this central to central west, yeah, Marietta, um, this to me is a lot better for accessibility. So if you have to be downtown, if you have to be in Midtown or Buckhead or wherever you work, um, to me, this is a no-brainer for location. When you're over in East Cobb, it is just a nightmare when it comes to traffic and trying to navigate every single day. So I feel like this is a much better uh, location here. And of course you have the Marietta Market over there, a new little food hall. Uh, they've got some great restaurants in there as well. And uh, we're gonna make a left here on the Polk Street. So Whitlock Road is just to the uh, south of us here. So you can see we're not headed west. Um, but if you continue west here on Polk Street, uh, you'll see again a lot more of the older more historical homes as well as some newer homes built um, and then you have marietta um, city school systems over here so different than cobb county anything within you know the city limits here of marietta uh, marietta high school here excuse me marietta middle school here and then marietta high school over off of whitlock road so you can see their stadium over here on the south side of polk Really cool little space in there. One of the other reasons that I wanted to do a slightly deeper dive here into Marietta as well is there's a ton of folks that are already in Atlanta that are like you know living currently in Buckhead or Midtown or Vinings or Smyrna or you know somewhere else around North Atlanta and they're also thinking about Marietta and living here um, or raising a family here or starting a business here or whatever 
And so um, I think it's really valuable, you know, that, that you all know as well, that not only do we help people looking to buy real estate, we also help people looking to sell real estate. And so one of the properties that we sold last year actually is just around the corner here off of Polk. Um, that was just a little over a million. Um, and uh, in a little gated community, I think about 14, 15 homes, um, but very, very unique property that we had the opportunity to sell. Um, and I think we did a great job for our sellers, uh, as well as we helped them purchase over in the East Cobb area. So, you know, again, a lot of people here are looking for real estate and they're looking to make a purchase. Um, but we also do help sellers. We also do help investors as well, whether it's here in Metro Atlanta or abroad. We have a really extensive network of real estate agents literally all over the country now. So um, if there's ever anything that we can do for you on that front as well, we are expert listing um, specialists as well. So we can help you out on that side. Some beautiful newer construction over here though, just off of downtown Marietta Square here. And then you do have some new construction going on right in here as well. So there are pockets of new construction that are happening, but here over at the park at Anderson Farm, that's where we sold a property last year for about $1.2 million. Um, and again, we are expert listing um, uh, agents as well. And so we can help you again, purchase, sale, investment, whatever you're looking to do, we can definitely help on that front. So here we're actually entering into the Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield. So obviously Kennesaw being the northern the next northern suburb here um, and again a ton of historical value in this area for the civil war that took place um, and uh, there are battlefields and walking paths and hiking trails i mean all throughout this area so great amenity to have right here you know not even two miles from the marietta square um, and and again still much more accessible than say like east cobb um, but over here, you've got a much more wide array of property values and property price points. Um, and so we'll show you a couple more properties in closing out this video and just um, kind of showing you, you know, what you can expect in this area from a real estate standpoint. But before we end this video, I just want to say thank you so much for coming along. If you have any questions about Marietta, what it's like to live here, work here, play here, um, I'd love to have you leave a comment down below. As always, you can email, text, or call anytime. You can also schedule a Zoom, uh, as I said before, in the channel art as well. So uh, whatever way you decide to reach out is totally fine. That's why we put as many different options there uh, as you're comfortable with. But the easiest way is obviously just to leave a comment down below and we will not only um, answer your question, but we may actually do an entire video just based on your question or comment. But we've been getting a ton more comments here, which we absolutely love. Um, and so if, the, if you have any additional questions, if you wanna do a deeper dive into a particular part of Marietta, or if you've been looking at homes in Marietta, or even if you already live in Marietta and you're, you're looking for someone to help you, um, like I said, as a listing expert myself, we are able to help with that part of the business or that side of the business as well. And as you can imagine, um, you know, putting out as much content as we do here on the channel, we are getting a ton of phone calls from people looking to move to this area. So um, there's there's a really, really great opportunity uh, for you as a seller here as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and finish off the tour here of Marietta. But if you have, again, any questions, just leave a comment down below. Uh, any comments in general, we always love to hear feedback as well. So anything else that we can do for you at any time, don't hesitate to reach out and uh, enjoy the rest of Marietta. I appreciate you so much. Have a good rest of your day.